You're listening to The Brett Davern Show. Live daily on Adobe Radio. Big day around here. Recording big day, everybody. Big day. Buckle up. Big day. <laughs> big day. Buckle up. Big day. Double B. Buckle. Big day. Big things happening. Can't think of any other words that start with B other than big right now. There's none other than big. That's Actually, the only one. That's I think the only that's, word. Yep. Guys, big day. First day of wearing a hooded sweatshirt out of the house in the morning for an actual reason because it was cold, not just for fashion, 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 (laughs) but for function, 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 function. (laughs) So I wore a hoodie today for the first time for function, function, function. That's number one. So you're thinking, wow, how could this day get any bigger? (laughs) Well, then I went to go have coffee with my coffee dad's group. That's so cute. Yeah, we meet up, discuss dad's issues before the day gets started, you know. So I went and had coffee with my coffee dads. So that, but that's, that's kind of, I mean, we do that. So that's, I mean, we've done it twice in like a year and a half. It's whatever. Listen, that's not the big part though. The second big part. So hoodie, coffee group, sitting outside, pumpkin spice latte. You did it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. So, Carly, Katie, the hoodie and the pumpkin spice latte on the same day. That's a double B big day. It feels like fall. fall. It's fall. Yeah. Yep. Feels like fall. It's Look how happy he is. It's happening. Look at his face. Guys, he's like he's bright glowing. and shiny. Man, and now I'm on my second cup of the day. <laughs> Watch out. Oh my Watch God. out later. Oh, I'm boy. Scared. couldn't get any better than this, guys. <laughs> yeah, how's your guys' morning going so far? No, the, I, the, I didn't, the theme song it has a mind of its own. It's the Brett Davern Show on Adobe Radio, brought to you in partnership with Nice Guy Digital. Functional hoodie day. It's true. I wore my jacket. I got my leather jacket over there. You thought, it oh, chilly. it's going to be a little brisk this morning. I looked at morning. the weather. I said, what is it? I said, Ooh. 57. I said, Ooh. don't mind if I do. A little chilly. <laughs> Better put on a jacket. <laughs> Let's get to the guy who PSLs only once a year. Uh, well, to do it too much, you go blind. Brett Davern. <laughs> Carly, Carly's pretending like she didn't laugh. <laughs> you can't hear her, but she's laughing. <laughs> it was like... It was no, like it's a podcast, Carly. You have to let them know you're laughing. <laughs> <laughs> it was like... Uh... Laughing and eye roll all at the same time. <laughs> I know, but I think all they heard was the uh, eye roll. Watch us on YouTube, everyone. <laughs> Find us on YouTube. <laughs> Welcome to the show, everybody. BDS fans at Adobe.com is if you, if you want to text us, and then if you want to go to social media, you go to Red Tavern Show. Smash that subscribe button. Give everything a like. Tell Carly that you're over there and that you're alive. I worry about them. Roll call today. <laughs> <laughs> Roll call. <laughs> Roll call. Sound off. <laughs> hey, hey, Carly. Hey, 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 Carly. <laughs> kind of camp, uh, summer camp roll call yeah. kind of deal going on. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, man, I'm trying to think of those camp songs off the top of my head. My, the, my kids came home the other day because they have like music class once a week at elementary school. Aww. How wholesome. And they came home the other day singing... Uh, and here's where it's not a great story because I wish I could remember what the oh boy, but it was one of those that you all grew up singing to, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Was it the cities or the states one? Your no. children have to learn the states one because you don't know I it don't and know it's a that travesty. One. That's I the never... only one of those that I can't commit to memory. I don't know why. I, I never learned it either. You didn't learn it either. I don't, I don't know. I feel like I missed out. So maybe honestly, it's a Washington State thing. Yeah, maybe Washington State just skipped it. They just don't teach it up there. Uh, Alabama. Maybe because Washington Alaska comes in so far down the list. Alabama. That's true. They're, They're like, like, they'll be confused until this. W. Yeah, no Delaware, way. Florida, no, but it was Georgia, something Hawaii, else. Idaho, Illinois, Indiana, something Iowa, what? Kansas, uh, <gasps> Kentucky, payback. Louisiana, Maine, Maryland, Massachusetts, Michigan, it Minnesota, was something where <laughs> Mississippi. <laughs> okay, I can stop. It Missouri. was Missouri. Yeah, I knew it. <laughs> yep. Yep. 
walked into that one. Something, Montana. Something where the kids sang the first part and then I finished it and they both looked up like, how do you, how do what you kind know of magic song? is this? We learned that song in school. Mm-hmm. How did, did they come dad. home and teach dad that? How does he know how that? How does he know that? Uh, speaking of songs you should know, this song is called Sucks to Be Us. You should know it. Commit this one to memory. It's by Echo Smith or Eco Smith. It's Echo. If you want to. It's Echo Smith. If it's Earth Day. <laughs> yeah, in April it's Eco Smith, but right now <laughs> it's fall. It's fall. I'm so Echo. proud of you that you. PSL. Yeah, pull up a pumpkin spice You're glowing latte. this morning. Hey, man. Maybe right? you should do it more like, often. Full of look energy. how happy you look. <laughs> it's, 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 not, it's not 95 degrees at 7 a.m. It's, it's nice. It feels nice outside. It does, yeah. Yeah. Uh, turn this song up. We'll be right back. You're listening to The Brett Davern Show featuring Katie LeClaire on IW Radio. Yes, too, but... Hello. It's time for the news. Um, uh, the best, to- the mo- who would, what are we dressing up for Halloween as? Mm, oh. Well, according to SAG rules, and because I am a card-carrying, non-due-paying member, <laughs> I'm not allowed to dress up, I don't think. No, you can dress up. You just can't dress up as anything that is established IP that is owned by one of the AMPTP struck companies. Uh, well, because I don't feel like taking the time to cross-reference my costume ideas with their bullshit list or have to do anything where there's rules of any kind, I don't care at all. And I'm going to dress up as Moana riding Buzz Lightyear. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm going to dress up as Moana riding Buzz Lightyear to the moon. Yep. Good for her. Absolutely. That's a, it's a cool costume, Katie. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I highly recommend it. It's one of those inflatable ones where Buzz Lightyear's like... <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm going to dress up Wait, as Dwayne The Rock Johnson. are you going to dress up Johnson. as Maui or Moana? <laughs> no, that's what I was saying. I, I, I was just going to say, I'm, dressed up, I'm dressing up as Dwayne The Rock Johnson as Moana riding Buzz Lightyear. Okay. Get it? Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, no, I'm gonna dress up like Dwayne the Rock Johnson's wax figure that was just unveiled. Do you guys oh, yeah, see the picture of that? Because so it was I'm gonna, horrible. I'm gonna dress up as the wax figure. Dressed up. Dressed as up Moana. as Moana, riding Buzz Lightyear. That's some layers. Yeah. It's a think piece. I know. Take that, producers. <laughs> it's trying to come after me now. Um, I don't think that that's gonna be a very uh, uh, frequently seen costume, Brett. But what do you think? What if I dress up like Bob Iger? How about that, that? That's the biggest villain of all. I think that that's all. a great idea. How about that? I think that's it's an excellent idea. the scariest thing any kid has ever seen, ever. I honestly think that's GD hilarious. Yeah. I think and a lot of people would love it. Just put on I a think suit, they would too. whatever he kind of looks like if he's bald, or put on a ball. What's he look like? I have don't some, really know. Have some money some, sticking out of just, your yeah. pockets. Well, every pocket, just yeah. money pouring out of every orifice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sure. <laughs> yep. Because you, I would say you could carry around a collective bargaining agreement, but. <laughs> I, then you have a prop all night. No, I could Costumes just walk around with scripts from every animated movie they made that were turning into a live action movie. Right, okay. But they're all the same script. It's the exact same movie. We just, now we're making it again. Well, I have a list here, Brett, of the most popular Halloween costumes. If you're of not a SAG member. If you're allowed to dress up <laughs> as an IP, established Dude, IP. You know, I had already rented my big uh, Native American chief headdress and everything, too. I guess I'll have to return it. Yeah. What character was that? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, I was just going to go as a Native American. Well, it was problematic Sag won't already. have a problem with the IP of that. Everyone but else will. Everybody else will, else will. yeah. <laughs> Wait, you guys are saying that was problematic already? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually, it actually has nothing to do with the strike, oh, Brett. <laughs> somebody go tell Hemsworth. We got to... We were going to go as a whole. Ah, it's fine. I have a friend who Cancel is going as Ken, and his girlfriend refuses to go as Barbie. So he is Good. going as Ken Just solo. Just Ken. Good. Just Ken. Just Aww. Ken. I told her that she should go as Alan, and she was like, actually, I might do that. There it is. Yeah. That's fun. But uh, Barbie is number one on this list of the oh, most yeah. My popular. My roommate already has her Barbie costume. Does she? Does oh, she yeah. have a Ken? Not yet. Oh, well. Listeners. <laughs> oh. Uh, also on this list, Oppenheimer. That's another easy-ish costume. Boo. Put on a fedora and wear a suit. That's lame. You don't like that? Mm, that's lame. Okay. 
I, I don't feel like dressing up as the inventor of the atom bomb is such a cool Halloween costume. I like the idea of a couple's costume Barbie and Oppenheimer. Oh, yeah. I can get on board huh. with that. That that makes sense to me. But if you're going solo dolo, but you're Oppenheimer. Only if she's dressed as bummer. Oppenheimer and he's dressed as Barbie. That's better. <gasps> That's yeah. better. Love and that's that. now that's Halloween to me. Yeah. If he's just wearing a suit and a fedora and she's dressed like no, a, yeah. no, no, I'm saying yeah, like yeah, if yeah, yeah. It, wouldn't it just look like boring? Those that's what people might wear going out. That's mm-hmm. not really Halloween. Like switch it up a little bit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like you got to be wearing a wig or a mask or a cape or thigh high boots. Like this is Halloween. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Let's go for it, people. Yeah. Okay. Uh, next up is Spider-Man. However, there's some variations on Spider-Man, obviously because of Into the Spider-Verse. Mm-hmm. Uh, a lot of people are going as Dad Peter Parker, <laughs> which is kind of great. It's a good, like, lazy costume. Peter Peter B. Parker with the robe on and yeah, all Yeah, with that. the robe. Mm-hmm. Nice. Lazy, comfortable, That's warm, cute. cute. Yeah, plus for your, if you have a kid, then you put them in the Baby Bjorn and exactly. you just have to put the stocking hat thing, yep. right? It was like a woven hat in that last yep. movie. Or if you have a kid who wants to be Spider-Man, you could just be part of the multiverse. You, oh, you know yeah. what I mean? A like, multiverse family it's cute. costume. It's cute, right? It, that oh. means that I could just put on a red hoodie, blue track pants, and I could go as dad Spider-Man, but from a different... I'll just tell my kids. No, no, it's like it's from a different universe. You I guys mean, didn't even see this one in the movie. Yeah, you this could. You hoodie, have the hoodie, hoodie Dad Spider-Man. Yeah, that's what yeah. I'm saying. I put a Spider-Man logo on this. Done. Done. Good to go. I'm 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 relaxing Spider-Man. <laughs> you guys just didn't you missed him. He was in that scene with all he the He's him. in the far corner, he's far left. Yeah, yeah, he's back there. He was laying down. Yep. You got to really <laughs> peek into the animation, zoom in a little bit. Yeah. You'll see him. We got Wednesday Adams next. Mm, okay. Okay. Boring. Uh I like this one uh, <laughs> that's Bear. Easy. Huh? Bear. The bear. The bear. Which What's is his name on it though. His oh, name. Oh, the chef guy? Yeah. yeah. Um, it's he has a weird name. I don't know. Um, I don't, is um, that recognizable? It's just a guy in a white t shirt well, and an apron. Yeah. If, yeah. Yeah, but rec- if he'd like you gotta like draw the tattoos, so it's fun. Oh, okay. Put a rag in your apron. Yeah, and then just be like, uh, Yes, chef. Yeah. We, we chef. All day not yes, chef, yes, chef. Yeah. We chef. We chef. We chef. But uh, we. It, that's a pretty good easy another like eat, have a spatula oh, yeah. sticking out of your back pocket or something like that. I, I, I gotta say though, okay, sticking out of your back pocket's fine, but I wanna say, and I've had this rule for a long time, props when it comes to Halloween costumes. You need a costume that stands on its own without having to hold a prop in your hand because I completely agree. If you're an adult, you're going to a party, you're gonna be holding a cocktail or whatever. And there's nothing more annoying than that friend who's carrying things in their hands well, that that but that that complete the outfit. Also, Brett, you have a thing where if other people, even if the other person isn't necessarily annoyed by it, it mm-hmm. would annoy you yeah. that they have something in their hands. Yeah, <laughs> which is just like, hilarious to down. me. Well, because they're standing there at the party holding a plastic axe in one hand. It's just like, yeah, go put that down. You don't need it. Relax. Yeah, I should be able to know that you're. Uh, whatever. Uh, who holds an axe? Jason? Jason? Jason About has an axe. American Psycho. Does he sure, have an axe? He American an axe. Psycho. But there you the go. Axe just ups it. It does up it. You but know? if you're There's standing at the party, for the photos, for, like, the, for, for the photos. photos yeah. No, no. I'm not saying you can't have a prop. What I'm saying is, I don't want your costume to rely on the prop. Right. Meaning, if you're going as American Psycho and you're standing at the cocktail party and you're wearing the the three piece suit. You know, nicely tailored. You got the slick back hair, but then you have the raincoat on over it, covered in blood. And then we know it. what it is already. Pretty, cool. Whether you're holding yeah. an axe or not, I know that you're trying to do the thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 All right. Um, this article also suggests that if you're going to go as Jeremy Allen White in the bear, you could also put like a bear ear head head uh, Aww, headband cute. on. Cute. Mm-hmm. Just to like, ma- you could be cute. a bear in the bear. Only if you're going as What's hot Jeremy name? Allen White. This is going to drive me crazy. What's not yeah. hot? Jeremy Allen White. No, I'm just I saying. Don't know. Like, huh? Huh? What? Anyway, those are the ideas for 2023's most Carmi. popular. Carmi. Cousin. Carmi. His name's Cousin. No. No. <laughs> then there is Cousin. The, well, they're all Cousin. I guess they're all, because they're all chef. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, chef. Brett doesn't know. <laughs> uh, I don't care. Um. Don't. Anyway, so those are the costumes for 23, 2023's most relevant Halloween costumes. All right. Okay, okay, I would imagine, though, if you do dress up as the bear, whoa, 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 volume, whoa. Use our inside voices, please, to start. Thank you. I would imagine if you're going as the bear, um, 
If you're a tall and lanky fella, they might just think you're Anthony Bourdain. <gasps> That's a great. I love celebrity costumes. Like when it does has nothing to do with the TV show. It's basically the same look. The white T-shirt, kind of a skinny guy who probably smokes cigarettes and then rolls up the ends of his white sleeves and has an apron on, and then t- a tattoo. Like he's just doing. Uh, anyway, I, anyway. I get it. Yeah. yeah. That's right. good. Hmm. Yeah. This is XXL by Lanny. Turn it up. This is Adobe Radio. Oh, wait. It's time for the news. <laughs> Where did the news? No, hold on. I, 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 I didn't know. What are we doing today? <laughs> Where did the news? We can do more uh, if you want to. Nah, that's all right. What do you want to do? I've got a cine-song list. Yes. We couldn't or play. Oh, we, um, oh, sorry. Or whatever we're calling this game. Did we ever decide on a name? No, we sin, sin a song is where you confess your sins while singing songs. Oh. I spelled it the correct way this time, at least. You did. There's a Y now. Yeah. That's why N A song. song. Sin a song. Sin, sin a song. Yours was good, Carly. What did you say we should song-anim. call it? Songonym. Songonym. Because it kind of s- does still sound like synonym. Sin a song. Songonym. Sauna But is that even. Let's just Steven Sondheim. <laughs> this is the game where we replace song titles with, with their synonyms. Synonyms, which sometimes aren't synonyms, though. The word in the so, song title right. is replaced with its synonym, mm. mostly. But sometimes little words like the and mm-hmm. on right. stay the same. Those are okay. Okay. Yeah, those are allowed. Me Gotta versus make it make Carly? Sense. Yeah. All right, me versus Carly. It's Let's on. go. Time, time for a bloodbath. Okay. <laughs> This is going to be a slaughter. Sergeant Slaughter. <laughs> this is going to be what happened to the Astros last night. <laughs> um, let's give you some fake Yay! names. Call out your fake name when you know it. Can't stand the Astros. Or should mm-hmm. we go back and forth? Um, do we call out? Do we buzz in on this one? I think we just... You want to go back and forth? Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then yeah. we can steal, and you can if steal we don't know. Right. Okay, I got it. All right. Who's going first? Me. Great. <laughs> Carly... Your song is Unable to Halt the Sensation. To halt the Sensation. Five. Can't four, stop the feeling. Three. Yes. Yes. Uh, <laughs> okay. All right. Brett? Are you going to count down obnoxiously? Mm-hmm. <laughs> is that part of the game? Okay. It is now. <laughs> Brett, sir. Yeah. Oh, uh, uh, with the artist, you can get a second point. Justin Timberlake. Yeah, sure. What? Just another point? Yeah, well, you can get the artist points too. Oh, and Carly, uh, what movie is it from? Trolls. Oh. <laughs> oh, look <laughs> at Brett point. giving out points. Wow. Okay, oh, Brett's got points given out. On the board. Cool. And uh, oh for God. a bonus point, Justin Timberlake was the member, uh, uh, ex member of what boy band? <laughs> Shut up, Brett. <laughs> you're giving her another point? She didn't even answer that one. Well, because she didn't. You're right. I want to play the game. <laughs> Brett, yours is Free Spirited Odyssey. Ooh. Mm. I don't know. Something that I'm not, I shouldn't say any words. I don't want to give her anything. It's. <laughs> I think I have the second word. Say it. You won't. Odyssey. Five, four, three, two. I don't know. Sorry, sir. Carly, you got it? I think it's like wild something. Mm. Free spirit. Katie has such a good poker face. I look at her and she just like takes a sip of tea and ignores. I don't know. it. Like what's another word for odyssey? Journey. That's what I was thinking. Journey. Wild journey. Journey. Wild. Something journey. This song is... Adventure? Something. Is this the real life? What? Bohemian is this Rhapsody? Just fantasy. Yeah. Oh, Rhapsody. Free spirited Bohemian Rhapsody. Rhapsody is a is a is a journey. I'll be honest. I never really knew what that word meant. It's a journey. It's a journey. It is. It's an odyssey. Some would say. Hmm. Some would. All right. A Rhapsody. Fine. I'll allow it. Carly, your next song is Nuclear. That's it? That's it? <laughs> what? 
<laughs> nuclear. <sighs> nuclear. <laughs> Toxic? Oh, that's a great guess, but no. Oh, Wait. depression. Rhapsody. An enthusiastic or ecstatic That's expression so of feeling. I Googled it too. It doesn't mean. An epic poem or part of it. A sustainable length or. The Odyssey uh, is an epic poem. <laughs> oh, that's why. Uh, yeah, the Odyssey is an epic poem. It's Yeah, that's but, true. But I hear what you're saying. <laughs> but a rhapsody is an epic poem. Rather than. The title of a poem. <laughs> I didn't know what that word meant anyway. So Brett, do you have any guesses for the song that is not named but nuclear? could be named Nuclear? Um, Cellular. Mitochondria. I mean, uh, or like Atomic. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, toxic, Atomic. That's what it's I not to- That's it can't be toxic. toxic. That's what Carly guessed. But a sin and... Oh, it was? Yeah, oh, Brett was okay. paying attention. That's, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was too busy looking up the definition of rhapsody. Yeah. I don't know. Atomic. Radioactive. Oh. Radioactive. Mm. Aye, aye, aye. That's Kay. pretty good, actually. Brett I'll Davern. let that one slide. Adorable offspring of mine. So, oh. oh, sweet child of mine. Yeah. Bye. Oh, uh, Guns N' Roses. Correct. In what movie? Uh, I'm just Big Daddy? You just gave me trolls, so <laughs> I'm going to go with it. That, that movie has to, or that song has to be on a soundtrack. Oh, I got a movie that it's in. Do you remember the remake of um, Last House on the Left? They had a crazy, awesome cover of that in that song. It was really oh. good. Give yourself a point, Katie. Oh, oh, thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> um, Carly. Oh, no. I'm sorry it's another one word, but it's just how it's coming up on the list here. Joyful. Fun? No. No, that's a band. No, I take it back. That's not my guess. Okay. Okay. We're thinking out loud here, Brett. Could be joyful. I, bro, Could be, you got me. It's not joyful. Fun. Brett. Uh, fun. Whatever. I. My brain is. No, I'm so sorry. That is not the answer. Don't boo, blame it on your brain. Oh, Sebastian, mm. boo. Brett Davern, would you like to steal? <sighs> joyful. It just makes me think of the Sister Act song. <laughs> but that's a different game. Joyful. Oh, uh, Happy. It's the name of a song? This might sound By crazy, Pharrell. but I'm going to say, mm. Because yeah, I'm happy, clap along. Oh, if you feel like yeah, a song. I thought Happy, and I was like, that's not the name of a song. Because you're happy. <laughs> Dang it. Do you know Pharrell. it's by... Uh, Pharrell Williams. Do you know of a movie it's from? I think it was... Wasn't that song written for a movie? I think it was a Despicable Me song or something, it was something like, like that. Despicable Me or like Sing 2. Wasn't like it? One of those yeah. like animated... Sing, but not Pixar. It was the other one. Yeah. Dreamworks. This is a Dreamworks movie. Dreamworks movie? Oh. Uh, <laughs> I was wrong. Uh, oh, man, I'm Shrek? Sorry, maybe Illumination. I don't know. Despicable Me? What's it from? Do you know? I don't know. Oh, you don't know. <laughs> well, then why'd you say it's a... What? I, well, because I was thinking along with you. But I oh, didn't know no, that we, for sure. I was just thinking Oh, my thinking gosh, along. Despicable Me Too. Boom! Wow. Nailed it. That's Illumination, okay, actually, though, isn't it? It is Illumination. Okay, that's Put a point not... up. I said Illumination. Oh. <laughs> okay. Okay, so... Wait, so you get a point for the studio? Yeah, now. No, fuck the studios. <laughs> Carly, come yeah. on. That Haven't was an easy been, test. Oh, my God. Come on, Carly. Oh what, you're supporting the studios oh over gosh. here? How oh dare you? You failed. Uh, the score is tied, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Oh, yeah. You're darn right it is. <laughs> We're hanging in there. Mm-hmm. Brad Davern? Yes. Downtown Groove. Oh, yeah, because he stole it from uh, me. Uptown Funk, even though that's an uh, opposite. Town. Funk, you what? Uptown Funk. Oh, that's an antonym. But you got it right. Bye. Whoa. Whoa. Uh, that would be Bruno Mars yeah, and boy. Mark Ronson. Yay. Mm-hmm. Smoother than a fresh jar of Skippy. Carly. Yes. Big prospects. Big. Big prospects. Big prospects. <laughs> Is bit. I'm like large. 
dreams, opportunity. I've got nothing. I'm not going to waste air. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Brett? I'll waste some air time. <laughs> Big. I don't know. Prospects. I don't know. I don't know. Are you out? I, I mean, large dreams, large going to be something someday. Because you got high, high hopes. High hopes? For a living. <laughs> high, big, yeah, huh? big prospects. Oh. High hopes. High is oh, big. No, no, it's a. It's, uh, I would say that's a phrase. Oh, tall, like if high hopes. High, big, big high prospects hopes by Imagine Dragons. Uh, sneaky, sneaky. Oh no, sorry, that's not about Panic that one. Think about the Panic whole phrase. I don't know about that one. Think also, we had an opposite phrase. in there somewhere. I don't know. <laughs> Brett, you're winning. It's fine. <laughs> well, then everything's okay. <laughs> This is American Authors. I like this game, though. We'll be right back to wrap it up. Proclaim a big, big winner and then send you off on the rest of your Wednesday. It's the Brett Tavern Show on Adobe Radio. Turn it up. We'll be right back. What's your favorite fruit? No pressure. He'll only judge you and your answer forever. It's the Brett Tavern Show on Adobe Radio. Oh, turn that song off. It's time to end the game. We're playing... Sin a song or sononym, songonym, song time. Yeah. Song time, so, sononym Sondheim. by song time. Song <laughs> Josh Gad will be starting in that very soon. <laughs> Carly, you are up next. Blazing and frozen. Blazing and frozen. Fire and ice? No, no, that wasn't my, no. Based on your reaction, I was just thinking out loud. <laughs> and that wasn't my guess. At all. My guess is something much more nuanced. And <laughs> Blazing. Sorry, say it one more time. <laughs> I'm so bad at it this morning. Blazing and frozen. Frozen, frozen, frozen. Pete. <laughs> sure, you get in there, Pete. You try. Yeah, Pete. See if you know it. Hot and cold? By who? I don't know. Oh, by Katy Perry. Yeah. Oh, okay. I got it, though. Well, that's one point for both of you, No, actually. that's two. Excuse me. Well, Carly said Katie Perry. I know, but that's two points apiece. Well, point you said stubble. <laughs> Point total stubble. Point double stubble. <laughs> okay. All right. Brett Davern. Yes. Adolescent fantasy. Oh, that's uh, Katy Perry again. Teenage Dream. Oh, oh. wow. He's on it. Bravo. Run. Bravo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, Katie. Perry. <laughs> um, Carly. I hate this game. <laughs> um, uh, she's scared uh, to even say it because she well, knows I won't get it. Well, she's perusing the list trying she to is. control the no, game no, no, rather no, than I just asking you the like next. The, you know how Katie like does it. One. I didn't like the, okay. She has to look one. for one that she thinks will then sway the game in good, a certain favor good. one way or the other, which to Katie would be entertaining. Good. We don't know how it'll actually work out. Carly, your song is not called Most Outlandish Fantasies. Most Outlandish Fantasies. It's something with dream, right? Yeah, it's got to be again. Oh, the look in her eyes. I don't even <laughs> think that that's right. Most outlandish fantasies. I just like my brain like tries I, to make every word a synonym. I know, I know. So I'm like... It's Big, a hard one. Crazy dream. This game is a hard and I'm one. Like, is that the name of a song? Also, when you know it right away, you know it right away. But the yes. ones you can't get, There's it's no, like it's impossible. In there. Yeah. Most outlandish fantasies. I don't know. I don't know. I don't have it either. Teenage Pe dreams. Oh, sorry, sorry, Did sorry. We just wildest do that? dreams. <laughs> wildest dreams. Wildest dreams. <laughs> wildest That's dreams by who? By Taylor Swift. Oh, okay. Wow, that doesn't count. All right. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I just... Brett, your song. Wait, can I can I pause the show for Taylor Swift oh, sure, real yeah. quick? Just mm -hmm. because Always. we should. Okay. So yesterday, uh, one of my son's baseball buddies was over in the backyard and they were playing catch together. 
classroom. Just two eight-year-old boys throwing the ball back and forth. Cute. And I'm just sitting in the corner of the yard, just like just kind of watching. And and they and they just start talking about all kinds of stuff. They're talking superheroes. They're talking school. They're talking so about cute about their, their team. They're talking all kinds of stuff. But then they get on to Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey. Just the two How boys by themselves. And I'm Are they like, literally. I think she's nice. I'm just not saying a word. I want to see what would happen. And. I can't remember the exact conversation. But basically, what I sussed out is that these two eight-year-old boys are kind of pissed because to them, the only reason Taylor is there is for the free tickets to Chiefs games. They were they were basically throwing the ball back and forth, just being like, "I just think she's there for you know you know she gets free tickets." <laughs> That's so cute. Oh, oh one of them was just like, I, "I'm just so jealous. She gets free tickets." <laughs> I was like, well, if, That's so sweet. you know, if you make out with Travis Kelsey, you get free tickets too. Yeah. That goes for anyone. Yeah. He just, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anyway, back to the game. <laughs> <laughs> so that's their conspiracy theory, though, is that she's just there for the free so tickets. Sweet. Yeah. They, they even said, I mean, she gets to sit in one of those boxes and everything. Yeah, Aww. she has the setup. I was like, I just wanted so bad to be like, guys, she's Taylor Swift already. Yeah. Yeah, she but. can afford to sit in the box. <laughs> she like, can afford also, the tickets. Also, she probably wouldn't have to pay. They would. Pro she could contact them and be like, I want to go. They'd be like, here, right this way, man. Yeah, rich people get everything for free. One of them I mean, was right? like, one of them was like, you can pay for it, they give it to you for free. Yeah. She pro they probably have free food. <laughs> That's so funny. Aww. Yeah. Brett, your song is Bang Applause. Bang Applause? Boom, clap. Ah. Uh, uh, is that a song? By who? I don't know. You don't know what? No, I've just heard it sort of ancillarily. Isn't I don't know. Is that Charlie a real song? XCX? Yes. Oh. oh, I got Boom, it, though. Clap, wow. sound of my That's all right. I'm keeping pace. I can't believe you didn't know that was a song. If we match, answer, if, we're, if we each get one, though, that's fine. I'm matching pace. That's fine. Yeah. You need a new pen. They're right, right behind you. <laughs> there's some stuck no. to the board behind you. Oh, fine, yeah. Yeah, they're right there, just... over your shoulder. There's a whole <laughs> rainbow, actually. You can pick oh, from wow. whatever ones you want. I just went black to keep it consistent. Okay. You get two, yeah. Carly gets also two. You don't have to explain yourself. It's fine. Brett, you already went. Carly. Down heart. Um, secondhand store. Oh, is it thrift shop? Yes. Mm -hmm. nice. See, that's one that comes fast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had yeah, that yeah, one, yeah, too. Yeah. But I'm the ones so that don't that hit you, you right know away. Clap was a song you just guessed it. I just have heard that somewhere. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I, I had I heard you were just that as out a synonym. I, honestly, though, I didn't know if it was an artist or a song title. Oh, okay. Just went for it. <laughs> Brett. Yeah. Bad guy. Well, that is bad a song. guy. <laughs> I know, but that's not the song. <laughs> so. Good girl. Different. Good that's man. Answers. Good. <laughs> wait, hold on. Hold on. I can figure this out. Wait, no, it's not opposites. It's synonyms. Well, so we never bad. know. It's, yeah, yeah, it's, it's kind of, it's, uh -oh. it's a funny, like, oh, this game is no. funny, isn't it? Oh, no. You got a hint. <sighs> bad guy. I don't know. I, I All I have is the song Bad Guy by Billie Eilish in my head. Me too. Sorry. My brain's like, do, 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 do. That's all that's going all, on. All I keep thinking Up is, here. duh. <laughs> <laughs> Um, it's the best part. If you're a bad guy, <laughs> evil man, you know, uh, everyone's favorite song. Close. You're a... This song is... Soul man. Soul man. A Taylor Swift song uh. Uh, called Anti-Hero. Mm. Bad guy. Mm -hmm. First of all, sexist. <laughs> check yourself, Sebastian. Check yourself. No, I'm kidding. Mm. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> Okay, right. see, that's what I was thinking. Right. It was like, it was the phrase bad right. guy. It's guy and hero, though. That's no, the one. Because, like, it's bad, us, but anti. It's, the, it's what the phrase means. Like, oh, the bad guy is the anti hero. Is, mm -hmm. Like, they're yeah, just different words. That's for true. The that's same no, concept. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it could be the word or it could be the concept. The concept. Exactly, yeah. Okay. Um, unsubstitutable. Who's guessing? You. Really, anyone who knows it. Unsubstitutable? Um, unsubstitutable. Per oh, I got it. I well, got it. I got it. I, I was going to guess permanent. I, I don't know. What you got, Carly? Irreplaceable by Beyonce. Yes, ma'am. Oh, come on. And she takes the lead. No. Shut up. Shut up. 
<laughs> well, buy two points. Go ahead. A person I nearly recognize. Oh, no, Brett. What? Somebody it's that my... I used to know. Yeah. That's the turn. end of the it show, too. The theme song started. I, I think we're out of time. It was my turn. That's okay. Wait, I thought you got... I stole it from Irham. Who is oh. it by? Oh. For the win. Because if you answer that... who it's by, then you get the points. Uh, is it? So for the win. How many is she? How many is she up was by? It fun? She's up by two. But I got that. But I got somebody it's that not... I used to know. Yeah, she's somebody... up by two. Oh. So she's still up by two. Gautier? No. Oh. That would t- that would tie it if is she it got Gautier? the artist. So it is a tie game. Tie game. Did you know it was Gautier? You just gave that to me. He yeah, I was, I was giving you a chance. Oh, that's so nice, friend. So it's a tie game. So I would have pretended not to know call it. Call it out if you know it. Call, call, call it out I would if have you know taken, it. Okay, I would have minutes, taken this minutes, L. Two minutes. <laughs> I would have taken this L just to make you feel better. I was going to. I was going to use my acting skills, even though SAG acting, won't allow it. Acting. <laughs> or actress. <laughs> call it. Call it. Call it out if you know it. Call it out if you know it. Let's go. Avenue of cr- cracked imagination. Brett. Brett. Boulevard of Broken Dreams. By Green Day. Still tied. Oh, my God. Okay, fine. Um, <laughs> superb Deep. Superb. Oh, no. Oh, that's a song. Oh, beautiful something. Beautiful, beautiful ocean. Deep. Beautiful Oasis. something. Superb. For Katie and Carly, I'm Brett running all of you. Kind of take if you know what, text us. Uh, good Night. Nicki Minaj. Nicki Minaj with the song Super, Super Bass. Bass. Super Bass. Super Bass. That's it for the Brett Dowling show for today. But don't worry. I win. They'll be back tomorrow. Live. Sure. No, I think Starting you win. at 9 a.m. Pacific. Noon no, Eastern, you take it. On Adobe no, Radio. Stop being so nice to oh, each other. Hey.